Hello, this is Burnt Tomato, and today I'm going to be playing some Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. This is my guide for playing as a casual gamer. So today we'll be playing some Garden Ops, which is the cooperative game type for this. Uh, there's a competitive game type as well, but I would suggest the cooperative one for as a casual gamer. We'll play the map Game Center, because uh, there's a side that I would suggest defending from, because it's pretty pretty easy to defend from that side. As a casual gamer, also suggest the Pea Shooter, because it's a pretty well-rounded well class. It's got a good amount of health and also good weapons and stuff. But anyways, what this is, as opposed to any other type of video, is I want to go over some of the settings you would enable as a casual gamer. Uh, that being the look sensitivity and aim assist. So right now I have the look sensitivity down, which I would suggest, and also the aim assist to heavy. So the game will assist your aiming uh, the maximum amount that they have allowed for this game. Okay, those two settings are the things I would suggest. Now I'm going to run over here to the left side, which I think is especially easy to defend. Um, and we're going to get started here. So what I mean by casual gamers, though, are folks that maybe have played some of the previous games in this uh, franchise. The Plants vs. Zombies games for the tablets, iPad, Android. And folks that are familiar more with those uh, may not necessarily be as comfortable with a first-person or third-person shooter that this, this game is. Uh, but... I know some folks that still wanted to try it out. So this video is to kind of guide folks that uh, may not necessarily play all the Call of Duty or Battlefield or any of those types of games. Okay, anyway, so I'm setting up some defenses here. Uh, just some basic things to get started. Now, if you are actually playing with a casual gamer, uh, one of the settings, or one of the things you could do to help support them is be the sunflower class and then you can go ahead and provide health for both you and your partner as you play together which I, I think can be very effective and make for a very enjoyable play experience as a casual gamer now i want to talk about the aim assist and the aim assist is interesting because it actually acts when you aim down the sight which is the left trigger uh, in some games, such as Halo, for example, it actually tracks the players from side to side very, uh, very effectively. But in this, it's actually more uh, when you scope in or when you zoom in using the left trigger to start. So you can see kind of how the cursor moves. I'm not moving the stick really. After I side in, it just moves slightly to center on the zombies which I think can be very helpful if you're new to shooters. Now the sensitivity is low too, which that is my moving about here with my sight. Um, some folks like it really high, but if you're new to shooters, I think it's much more helpful if it's, if it's set lower. The other thing, though, about this that I think is pretty interesting, though, too, is I'm playing currently on easy, which is the setting I would suggest, but the boss zombies that occur every five waves are actually relatively manageable. Um, they're, they're pretty easy and compared to even normal settings. So uh, that, would be, that would be what I would say is definitely play on easy if you're starting out on this for your first time as it's, uh, it's much more manageable. All right, so now I've jumped ahead to the boss wave. This is the first time you fight the zombie bosses are on wave five. Uh, and I wanna show you the health that each of them have. So the slots are gonna engage and we will see what it is we will be fighting. Or we may get a bonus before we even start fighting, which would be good. Okay, well, we got somewhat of a bonus. So it looks like there's only one boss this wave. And there he is off in the distance, coming out. 
so as I start to engage him, he actually doesn't have all that much health. For one person, it, it's going to be a little bit tougher than if you're playing with multiple, of course. But compared to the other, let's see, let's get out of here. Compared to normal settings and, and hard and crazy and all those different types, uh, the health that the bosses have are, yeah, it's pretty low. To see his actual health bar, so yeah, he's well over halfway, so. And that was it. I mean, we got him there, so. A few dozen shots at the beginning, and then a few dozen more in, in the uh, hot chili bean grenade. This is our left bumper. But yeah, so that's uh, that's Garden Ops uh, on Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Expect more videos to come. And thank you for watching.